Sabado, ikadalawampu't dalawa ng Enero, nagtungo ang probe team sa Hong Kong upang makapanayam ang kontrobersyal na negosyanteng si Stanley Ho. Sa exclusive interview na to, sinagot ng Macau Casino King ang mga haka-haka na kumakalat tungkol sa Manila Jumbo Palace bilang floating casino, mga alegasyon na siya ay leader ng notorious Hong Kong Triad Group at pagdadala niya ng sinasabing culture of gambling sa Pilipinas. Any reason for Filipinos to be afraid of you coming into the Philippines? I think they really should. If the Filipinos should not be afraid of your coming into the Philippines, what can they expect from you? Well, if they can have a look at Macau mm -hmm. and see, can see what I have done for Macau, and as I promised your president, mm -hmm. Estrada, mm -hmm. that I shall do my best to promote tourism in the Philippines. Via the uh, gambling casino route? No need, no need. Because you have already enough gambling through Paco. You don't need me anymore for casinos. Let me just be very upfront with you, Dr. Ho, and give you some of the apprehensions of, of quarters in the Philippines. The Catholic Church is afraid that you may bring in gambling and uh, engender a culture of gambling in our country, which we hardly need. Could you comment on I that? I agree with the comments of Cardinal Sin. But it's unfair to uh, uh, make such an allegation of me when I didn't even apply for a casino. Of course, he doesn't know. Are you categorically stating that you're not opening a casino? No. Nor, you're not getting involved in gambling at all in the Philippines? Not at all. Not at all? Not. Zero. I have run enough casinos in the old days. Uh -huh. And I don't need to run any more casinos in the Philippines. Tiyak ang pagtanggi ni Stanley Ho na magpapatakbo siya ng mga kasino dito sa Pilipinas. Ngunit marami ang hindi nakakaalam na noong panunungkulan ni dating Pangulong Marcos, si Stanley Ho ang nagbukas at naging kasosyo ng presidente sa siyam na kasino. Hindi naglaon, ang kasosyo ay initsyapwera ng napatalsik na diktador. I read a hint of uh, resentment and even anger for Marcos for cheating you out of your rightful share. Is that correct? Is that a correct reading? Well, uh, he was very diplomatic. Uh, every time he took away my percentage, he would say, Mr. Ho, you don't need the money as much as I need for flood relief and so forth. So please uh, give away your management fee. And uh, instead, I will give you uh, more honors. So what did you come away uh, <laughs> earning from, from your investments in the Philippines and the nine casinos? Well, I uh, received a share of the tips. So that's the only uh, remuneration I got. Nagpapakahirap tayo na to attract foreign investors. Pero malakas ang pagtitiwala ng Macau Tycoon sa administrasyon ni Pangulong Estrada. Kumbinsido si Ho na taus-puso ang paanyaya ng kasalukuyang Pangulo na siya ay mag-invest sa Pilipinas. Isn't that a bad business decision to come back and invest again in a country that allegedly only gave you a share of the tips? <laughs> well, you know, uh, I know what kind of a man Marcos was. And I was hoping when you have uh, new presidents like Estrada, he is more friendly and uh, more sincere. I don't mind uh, having another go. What is your impression of President Estrada? I think very highly of him. Mm -hmm. I think he's very frank and open, mm -hmm. and he really sincerely uh, is trying to interest more wealthy investors from Hong Kong. Bagamat ito ang impresyon ni Stanley Ho kay Presidente Estrada, tila nilagyan na ng puwang ni ERAP ang pagdikit sa pangalan at investments ng Macau Casino King. The current opposition that you are now facing, has this discouraged you from your plans to invest more heavily in the Philippines? Oh yes, it does uh, discourage me immensely. Uh -huh. As I said earlier, unless this situation reverses, I may have to give up further investments in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. The opposition that you're now receiving, the flak you're now receiving, yeah. does that make it a, uh, does that make the country a poor place to invest in? Well, 
if I really find that the situation cannot improve and even the president cannot encourage me to go on investing any, anymore, mm -hmm. then naturally I have to quit the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Hindi lang naman kasino ang pag-aari ni Stanley Ho. Napakalawak ang kanyang mga negosyo. Ang kumpanya niyang STDM, Sociedad de Turismo e Diverseos de Macau, ay may interes sa banking, transportasyon, kagaya ng jet foil fleet at helicopter service. Tatlong istasyon ng TV, property development, airport, mga hotel at restaurant. Maaninag sa Macau ang kaundaran ng kanyang kabuhayan. Kung tumatanaw ng malaking utang na loob kay Stanley Ho ang mga taga Macau, iba naman ang istorya sa Pilipinas. Noong ikalabing walo ng Enero, nagpatawag ng House Committee Hearing on Public Order and Safety si Congressman Roy Logoles. Ito ay dahil sa intelligence report na nabunyag di umano na si Stanley Ho ay leader ng isang notorious Hong Kong triad. I had absolutely nothing to do with triads. You're not How a member you, of the triad. No, of course not. Nor are you a leader. Not, I don't know anything about these triads. Mm -hmm. I only mm -hmm. fight them. You're Join a, me with the Macau company. In one of the reports, it says you are the alleged leader of the Luen Kung Lok triad. I don't have ever heard of such a name even. Uh -huh. I don't uh -huh. know anything about triads. You're only 12 years old here? Ano pa man ang maging desisyon, malaki ang kontradiksyong iniwan sa aming isipan ni Ho. Inamin ng negosyanteng kumita ng bilyones mula sa pagsusugal na siya mismo ay hindi nagsusugal. Katakataka na ang personal niyang filosofiya ay kontra sa negosyong nagbigay sa kanya ng pangalan. What's your philosophy? My philosophy is, I think uh, in life, uh, one should be kind, especially in my case, because when you are a big operator in the casino, you tend to break some families. You should only gamble as a kind of entertainment. <laughs> Don't expect of breaking the house and all that. Uh -huh, uh -huh.